Hi, it's Kathy from Fieldwork Connections. I have come down to the North Entrance Beach today. Uh, it is Saturday the 15th of March 2025 and I was here a couple of weeks ago having a look at the coastal erosion along this stretch of beach and it was nothing compared to what it is now today. Have a look behind me. So that's where the units are, kind of built up on top of the primary dune. Those are the large basalt boulders that have been put in place to try and stabilize the beach and protect the houses behind. And there's this huge undercut area through here from all of that weather that came through and the swell from tropical cyclone Alfred that came through last weekend. If you look, you can see that there's probably a couple of meters of sand has been taken off this beach. Um, the berm's probably two and a half to three meters high there. I'm going to see if I can get around a little bit further. Uh, the tide is on its way down. It was high tide about two and a half hours ago. So it'd be good to, if I can get in just in front of those basalt boulders and have a bit more of a look. This is a really good illustration of when the waves are coming in, all that energy hitting that hard surface on the basalt stone wall. Um, and then you can see that deep gutter that it cuts with the energy of the waves uh, rebounding or reflecting off the rocks. And it then gets quite deep just in that patch. And if you look a little bit further south along the beach, we've got these areas where it's really flat because you don't have a hard surface for the waves to reflect off. But yeah, you can see how the erosion has occurred, the energy of those waves and swirling around in this area because those rocks are there. I've come further along the beach in front of the basalt wall, the revetment wall, and I'm standing in the position where I was two weeks ago, except that I am two meters below that spot now. So that's how much sand has been taken off the beach here, and it has gone out to sea. With the energy of those waves, taking the sand out beyond this shoreline and if they're going to get more sand back on this beach they're probably going to have to do some beach nourishment and truck it back in. I might come back in a few weeks and check on uh, this stretch along here to see how it's going and also might do a little bit of an update on the pilot channel. I did drive past it before and it has not opened so I am looking forward to that day too.